Do you want to begin a consistent meditation practice but you have no idea where to start? In this video, I'll give you the same tips and techniques that I teach my yoga teacher trainees as well as my students to develop a consistent meditation routine. For yoga, spirituality, meditation, and wellness videos, subscribe to my channel so that you can get videos on subjects that will help you to start improve the quality of your life. And hit the bell so you're notified each time I post a new video. If your life leaves a lot to be desired because of high stress, anxiety, overwhelm, or emotional or spiritual imbalances, meditation might be just the thing you're looking for. I know that meditation helped me conquer a lot of issues I was dealing with emotionally. By the end of this video, you'll know why you should meditate, how to meditate, and how to make it a consistent part of your daily routine. Number one, why should you meditate? There have been many scientific studies on the benefits of meditation. Healthline.com states that some of the proven benefits to meditation are that it lowers stress levels, reduces anxiety, promotes emotional health, enhances self-awareness, lengthens your attention span, may help manage your addictions, improves the quality of your sleep, controls pain, and decreases blood pressure. And these are just the most tangible benefits. Meditation can also help you feel like you belong or have a place in this world, cultivate happiness and gratitude, see the bigger picture, create a connection to God, Mother Nature, or Source, see the interconnectedness of all things. And that's just to name a few. As you practice, you'll find more and more reasons to continue with your meditation. Number two, how to meditate. So you just want to start by sitting or laying comfortably. I really prefer sitting because I feel like whenever I'm laying down, I kind of zone out and almost fall asleep. Now that would be great if I was trying to actually go to sleep or maybe if I was going into Shavasana at the end of a yoga practice where you are just trying to disconnect. But for meditation, you want to be a little bit more locked in and a tiny bit more in your body. Next, you want to close your eyes or if that doesn't feel good, find a gaze point and let your eyelids be soft so just really soft gaze then you'll want to deepen your breath and if possible breathe in through the nose and out through the nose really letting your lungs and ribs expand in every direction now there are a couple misconceptions here you don't need to try to empty your mind or clear your brain that's virtually impossible so instead what i want you to try to do this is a lot easier is to have one pointed focus now this point of focus could be your breath okay so as you inhale you're just kind of watching the breath come in with your mind's eye and then go out of the body come in and go out or maybe you want to focus on your lungs and ribs expanding or you could focus on a chakra or an affirmation whatever you choose every time your mind wanders which it will you'll gently bring it back and I like to tell my students and my trainees it's like you are on a walk with a child and the child's like ooh, a butterfly ooh, a grasshopper ooh, this ooh, that and so instead of getting impatient with that child you love this child right so you'll grab the child's hand and you'll just bring them back to the path and keep on going down the path don't stress about not getting into the zone. For me, if I don't, if I'm not consistent for a while, it takes me a good month or so to even be able to get back into the zone for even just a couple minutes. But don't worry, the benefits are numerous even though you don't feel like you're getting into that place where you should be. Don't compare yourself to anybody else, just do what feels good for you. All right, now number three, how to make it a consistent part of your routine. The first thing you can do is to set the bar low. So many times we get super excited about something and we're like, okay, I'm going to meditate every day for a half an hour. Otherwise, what's the point? All right. So instead, what I want you to do is be a little bit kinder to yourself. This is a new habit that you're trying to implement. So start small. Maybe you start with just two to five minutes a day of deep breathing. My next tip is to do it as soon as you wake up, because if you wait until later in the day, your day tends to get 
get away from you. I know. I've talked to many a student who says the same. And that's okay. So just know you. Maybe the best time for you is right before bed. I like to do it in the morning as well as before bed because in the morning, you don't have everything cluttering up your mind yet. So you're really in that space kind of in between being awake and in between being asleep. So it's a really great place to be. You're very connected spiritually at that time, so take advantage of it. The next tip is to download an app such as the Insight Timer. This is a really cool app that does have guided meditations and visualizations, but it also has just a timer and you could put different sounds. You can also put different bells that go off at different times. So maybe for the first five minutes, you wanna focus on gratitude and the second five minutes, you wanna focus on just having on your breath. So just single pointed focus. So more of a traditional meditation. So that's what's cool with that app is you could put a little bell in the middle so that you know when it's been five minutes. And of course, you can always subscribe to this channel or others like it to help you stay consistent. And every time a new video is posted, you'll be reminded to come back to your mat or back to your meditation cushion. If you want more support on incorporating more yoga, wellness, and meditation into your life, make sure to join one of two of my free Facebook groups. The links are in the description. And if this video was helpful, please let me know by liking it and commenting and let me know why you want to start meditating. Don't forget to share this video with your other spiritual seeking friends and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Have a great day. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Namaste.